Hey y'all, it's Rosie from iHeartRecipes.com and in this video I'll be making roasted Brussels sprouts and butternut squash with lots of onions and bacon. So I'm going to get started off with my Brussels sprouts. As you see, I'm using frozen because I always have it on hand. If you want to use fresh, you can. Here's my butternut squash. I'm going to peel it with a potato peeler and then I'm going to remove all of the seeds. Next, I'm going to chop this butternut squash in small or medium cubes. And then I'm going to grab a large white onion and I'm going to slice it. Once we're done slicing the onion, we're going to head over to our stovetop and we're going to fry up some bacon. I'm going to fry it over medium heat and I'm going to get it nice and golden brown and nice and crisp. Once it's nice and crisp, I'll remove the bacon from the bacon fat and I'll set the bacon to the side. Don't throw out the bacon fat because it is one of the ingredients for this recipe. So combine the Brussels sprouts, the onions, and the butternut squash into a large bowl. And then we're going to start sprinkling in some kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. Now we're going to grab that bacon fat and we're going to drizzle it all over the Brussels sprouts, butternut squash, and onions. Then we're going to grab a spoon or whatever works for you. And we're going to make sure everything is nicely tossed because we want it to be coated with the bacon fat. At this time, I'm actually going to sprinkle in some red pepper flakes to add spice. But if you're not a fan of spice, you can certainly leave it out. And now we're ready to roast our veggies. So I'm going to roast it in the oven, uncovered, on 400 Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes. And when it comes out, this will be the outcome. Simply delicious. Now remember, we did make bacon, we didn't toss it out. We're going to simply sprinkle the bacon on top of our veggies, and you know what? We're good to go. Now don't forget, if you want the exact measurements for this recipe, head over to my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. For many of you that don't know, YouTube is not my main spot. My blog is, I actually upload more recipes on my blog than I upload on YouTube. Also follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already.